Welcome. So an equivalence relation is really a way of saying when the elements of a set are going to be considered to be equal or the same. And they have to share actually a lot of uh, properties with equality. So let's just kind of get started on what they are. So we're going to suppose we have that A is a set. So suppose that A is a set. Okay, then by definition, so definition, so an equivalence relation So this is what we're defining as an equivalence relation. It's going to be a particular kind of relation. So an equivalence relation on A. Is a relation on A that is, so is a relation on A. That is write a little bit too fast to get carried away, that is uh, so one, so let's just, let's give these kind of special notation for us. So the first thing that it's going to satisfy is that it has to be reflexive. Okay, so what does reflexive mean? It means that uh, you're always going to have that so you're always going to have that if A is related to yeah, let's kind of box that in blue. Okay, um, because so if A is related to B, or sorry, if A is always related to A. It's almost going to write down the wrong one. Okay, so this is going to happen for all, uh, for every, and this is all the same A. I'm just saying that A is always related to its, itself, okay? Uh, so, i.e., every element is related to itself. I'll write that down. So, i.e., every element is related To itself. Okay, and then we have the second. Okay, uh, which is that it has to be symmetric. Okay, which is that uh, when you have A is related to B, then you also have, so this is going to imply, so anytime you have that A is related to B, you have that B is then related to A. All right, this works with equality. So equality is, is symmetric like this. So this is going to happen for all, you know, I, I put these colors here just so that you can see the relationship like that, but these are elements of A. So, right, i.e., if A is related to B, then B is related to A. Okay, so this is if A is related to B, then B is related to A. Okay. So it, it has that kind of symmetry property. Symmetry, why well, it's called symmetric. The last one is transitivity. So you know that this holds for a lot of things. So uh, uh, transitivity.
okay? Um, which is that if, so if you have that, so if, let's go like this. So if you have that A is related to B, and you have that, we're kind of running out of colors, that B is related to, and now we're going to do this in yellow, which I know looks like green, but, you know, I, I know that it's a different color. Um, and then we have that. Uh, A has to be related to C. Okay. So it's like contagious. Okay, and this is going to work for all A, B, and C in our set A. Okay, uh, so in equivalence relation, this is incredibly ubiquitous in mathematics, uh, is a way of saying, so it's a particular kind of relation. It, it's a way of saying what we're going to consider to be equal. This is going to show up a lot. Um, and so we decided what are the properties of equality that we really want to capture um, and their reflexivity, symmetry, and transitivity. Everything's related to itself. Uh, it goes, you know, you can swap if A is related to B, then B is related to A. Um, and then there's transitivity, which is basically that it's contagious. Uh, if A is related to B and B is related to C, then A is related to C. Okay, so I hope that made some sense, and I will see you in the next lecture.